Hey everyone, we're here just to give you a quick update on the Metal Gears. They did arrive in Compton. <laughs> so they're almost here. They've been handed off twice to somebody else. I assume they'll be here tomorrow or the day after. Hopefully by this weekend. So that we can spin up the big boy. Because I really, really, really am, have been anticipating this for a long time. I've even got my extra... EDB F405 wing all set up and bound with its own receiver so that I can go ahead and uh, start building Shrike XL once I get this finished then all I have to do is figure out how to get three more of these and three more of these motors and a lot of filament and uh, I think I have enough screws for it possibly more bearings um, and I've got one of these power supplies already so yeah that's where we're at and you you son of a bitch <sighs> I did everything put it all back to just bone stock reflex to so and, and and you all saw the video before where the servos were reversing weird and the Y connector wasn't splitting them. So they were both going up and down. Fix that by just mechanically flipping the other one. So both servos were facing the same direction rather than opposed the way they should be. So, hey, whatever. But at least my prop that I made out of TPU has <laughs> survived the endeavor. Nothing else on the plane did. Nothing. But the prop did. It still has torque. It's insane. AMS TPU, Bamboo Lab. I'm telling you, if you need to make an, a prop that just isn't going to break, unless you really, really, really hit something fast and hard, then I'm telling you, AMS TPU. That's the answer. But the answer for this is coming real soon. And I can't wait to get this thing spinning past half throttle that's going to be exciting terrifying but exciting terrifying yeah or excitifying or not terrifying and exciting there, there's a word there I'm trying to find somebody find it for me that's your job mix the two words make a new one <laughs>